How's it going everyone? So got my little project going on here. I got uh, these sawhorse brackets off Amazon. Made a post about it. It was these were twelve dollars a pair shipped to my door, which is insane, but I found something kind of interesting about these one or uh, one pair is an inch higher than the other. I was trying to get it to be 66 inches just so it's the exact height of the roof of my vehicle and uh, I discovered that these manufacturers have sort of built the math right into these brackets so that instead of having to do some crazy math equation to figure out the height of the triangle uh, all you do is cut the length of the legs to the height you need and the bracket compensates for the angle and the addition of a, a 2x4 piece of lumber on top and it equates to 66 inches so if you cut the legs to 66 inches then this top height will be 66 inches in the end uh, that was very ingenious. I mean, it's probably something they've been doing for years and years. It's been a while since I've used a sawhorse, but I thought that was interesting. And lumber has undergone a bit of a shrinkflation throughout history. More of a standardization, but there is uh, some some elements of shrinkflation. Basically, two by fours used to be two inch by four inch. But due to uh, inconsistencies in different types of wood and how much the wood shrinks when it dries, uh, they needed there was a need for standardization, especially after World War II when there was a big housing boom. So the result is in the 50s and 60s they standardized it so that these two by fours are actually one and a half inch by three and a half inch. And I uh, guess that's part of the, some of the numbers that they throw into the math for that sawhorse. And well, there you go. There were, it's not really hidden math, but it's, uh, you know, a formula that I didn't realize was built into the design. It's very cool. 